Hi, excellent. It's how we teach you how to print a matrix in a spiral. Problem statement. The input is a square matrix. Example, a 4 by 4 matrix of the one that we are going to be using today. The output would be a matrix printed in a spiral. Approach. Print the outer matrix for the cells in order. You cursively print the inner matrix. So, first you make a function called print matrix spiral where you pass in the matrix, which is A, the start row index, which is I, the start column index, which is J, the end row index, which is M, and the end column index, which is N. This would be I, that would be J. This is M, that is N. So the first thing you do is you see if the row index I is equal to the end row index M, then you stop the equation. Same for the J and N, because that means that the start index and the end index are the same. So you keep, so you have a while loop that that uh, prints all of the numbers on the top row of the matrix. Then you have a while loop printing all the ones on the left, on the right row of the matrix. Then you see we, here where you update K, you make it one bigger so that it doesn't hit this corner. And then here you print the bottom part of the matrix in a while loop where k is still you miss it so you can, so you don't hit the corner and then for the last one you print the left border column and then you cursively call a matrix spiral and print the inner matrix so you just printed this one and now you have to print this one where i is, the new i is i plus 1, the new j would be j plus 1, the new m would be m take away 1, and the n would be n take away 1. And at the beginning, when you first call it, you pass in 0 for i, 0 for j, 3 for n, and 3 for m if you have a 4x4 matrix. Thank you for watching.